Hey guys, I'm Juliana, your automotive woman, and this week I am test driving the only 2022 Chevrolet Equinox RS all-wheel drive. So I'm going to do like I always do. I'm going to take you for a walk around, have a closer look at that awesome interior, finish it off with a test drive. But don't forget to connect with me on social media and check out my new TikTok handle because I take you more behind the scenes and provide you with my tips and tricks. Keep watching. For 2022, your Equinox receives a slight refresh, but remains the type of vehicle which is supposed to be uncomplicated for buyers. It gets you from point A to point B without extreme costs and offers a great overall travel distance with Chevrolet estimating a total of 458 miles or essentially 737 kilometers before a refill. As for the engine, well, regardless of trim, every Equinox is now equipped with only a 1.5 liter four cylinder turbo with a six-speed automatic transmission, which produces 170 horsepower with 203 pound-feet of torque. And this week, I'm reviewing the all-new RS trim with all-wheel drive, although front-wheel drive is available on the base trim. You literally just heard me mention it, but the RS all-wheel drive trim is all new for the Equinox in 2022. And it's more of an aesthetics package, but why I would choose to purchase this trim over the base model is for more than a few reasons. So you have the blacked out bow tie that just looks good. The front bumper and grille has been refreshed along with that rear bumper. And from an aesthetic standpoint, you have larger 19 inch wheels on this RS and a great interior with red stitching. But as standard, you're gonna receive a frontal collision warning with pedestrian detection, blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist, a rear view camera with cross traffic alert with a rear view camera which offers pretty good resolution. And you have the option of a 360 degree view too. And that's great, especially if you plan to tow, which you can, and I'll talk about that in a second. But more standard driver assisted technology. You heard me mention all wheel drive. You could actually deactivate that essentially allowing you to get better fuel efficiency. And to deactivate it, just use the button located by your gear selector in the interior. I also love the fact that GM always offers their teen driver mode. And this allows parents to set specific settings. So when your teen driver is operating your Equinox, it's safer for them. And lastly, one of my favorite features, a remote starter is also standard First you have to lock the doors and then just hold the button. Now when it comes to towing, you can tow up to 1500 pounds, but speak to your Chevrolet specialist about that because if you choose to purchase the towing package, that might increase for you. And then payload capacity. This is when you could store items on top and inside, including humans. This is a payload capacity of 950 pounds. You have to ask those questions, especially if you are an active family. Now, for a vehicle which is under $40,000, you have a lot of convenience happening back here, and that is a power lift gate. Okay, you could open this a few different ways. You can use your key fob, you could use the traditional button located under the emblem. Of course, you have the button located inside the cabin, but this is also adjustable in height. Just use the other button located inside the cabin, it will automatically set for you. You can even hold it in place, hold this button right here, wait for the beeps, and that sets too. If you prefer a hands free power lift gate, that's available too, but you have to level up to the Premier package and you'll find that. Now remember, look down in the description below for those competitive comparisons because overall cargo space is decent, but I like the convenience. So the seats fold in a 60-40 split. You have hand levers here on the side, which is impressive. I wasn't expecting that for a vehicle below $40,000. You even have connectivity, a 12 volt port with the RS trim and then a cargo cover is optional. Underneath your floor, you'll find more space for storage. Underneath that floor, you'll find your temporary spare tire. If you choose to purchase the RS trim with leather interior and red stitching, trust me when I say your rear seat guests or family are going to ride in style and comfort. And although this seat is fixed, meaning it doesn't move forwards and backwards, overall comfort 
is really, really good. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I'm only five foot three, so I never complain about rear seat space because I'm short, but I have over a foot of leg space back here. And this seat is currently set up for someone who's five foot 10. Even head space is good too. And because of this gorgeous panoramic sunroof, you get at least an additional inch of space too, which is fantastic. Now, as for storage, you have two small pockets behind both front seats. On this side, it's narrow and small, but more space for cups, bottles, and snacks, of course. And when nobody is sitting in the middle, you can take advantage of your two traditional cup or bottle holders. Now, although I made everything sound really, really good, there is one negative, but it's also a positive. If you're a family of four, it will be fine. If you're a family of five, well, then things are gonna get tight because your front center panel is huge, right? So it extends back here. So the person stuck sitting in the middle is gonna lose leg space. But again, family of four, you'll be fine. Family of five, it's gonna get tight, but you have to take the positives with the negatives and there's way more positives because you have directional vents, but connectivity. Two USB ports and my favorite, a traditional three prong outlet. And there will be no complaining about connectivity because if you need even more, there's more connectivity inside that front center console. I've said it more than a few times, but this is the RS trim with a few upgrades like the leather, the red stitching, the standard all wheel drive. But with all that, I'm still well below $40,000 Canadian. In my opinion, it's so worth it. So I'm gonna begin with this panoramic sunroof, which I've already mentioned too, but it, it is really, really stunning and it wasn't expected at all. This is also power operated and it's actually tilt operated as well too. So if you don't wanna open it the whole way, you don't have to. Now these front seats are heated in the RS trim and Premier. The driver's seat is power operated, but the passenger seat is only manual. To turn on the heating for your seats, just use the buttons located up here. Also a huge plus with the RS, heated steering wheel, a must in Canada. But on the left-hand side, this is where you're gonna find your adaptive cruise control settings and your steering assist as well. On the right-hand side, this is your voice commands, your Bluetooth, and some functionality for your um, infotainment system, and you can uh, customize your digital driver cluster. If you're also looking to control your radio features as well, you can do so by using the buttons located behind the steering wheel. Now this driver cluster is both analog and digital. It's, it's huge. It's really well done. Remember, you can customize it by using the buttons on your steering wheel as well or behind here. Infotainment system, it's a little bit smaller, but I like the fact that it's embedded into the dash, so it, there's no problem with your line of sight. Um, really easy to use. It's both a touch screen and a swipe through. You have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and Amazon Alexa as a standard. Go through the settings icon with your Chevrolet specialist. It will take you less than five minutes to set up and you can customize it to your preference. If you're looking for navigation, it is available to you as well as optional. It is in that premier option. Another thing that I love about this is you have your camera views. Again, really good resolution, but just give it a push and you'll be able to see what's going on around you. Also remember you have the option of the 360 degree camera as well. More storage up here, it's great. Of course you have your two traditional cup and bottle holders up here on the sides, it's just fine. Connectivity keeps getting better, okay? All up here you have more USBs, USCs, another 12 volt port. And remember I mentioned that you can turn off your all wheel drive. Well you can do that, just use the button located right there. There are no driving modes. There's only one mode, drive. That said, now let's hit the road so I can provide you with my final driving impressions from this past week. 2022 Chevrolet Equinox RS all wheel drive. And just like the Toyota Corolla Cross, I just finished reviewing, this vehicle just gets the job done, right? These types of vehicles aren't, uh, aren't made to be spectacular, you know? Um, it's not a Corvette. 
but it is just smooth. And definitely if I was purchasing the Equinox, I would go RS trim because I like the fact that it's standard all wheel drive and then I can deactivate it too, essentially conserving some fuel. I also just like the elevation of aesthetics. You know, yeah, the, the RS costs a couple thousand dollars more, but it's, it's just worth the value in my opinion. Besides that, yeah, I also like the fact that my, my line of sight is good because this um, infotainment system is embedded into the dash as opposed to protruding out. You do have a blind spot though out, out that third window, so just make sure you're activating your blind spot monitoring and setting up your mirrors because you won't be able to see small cars or, or bikes there, right? One thing that needs a little bit of improvement, but remember this is just a cost efficient vehicle is noise control okay so it's still a little bit loud you you do hear that road noise but again it's a vehicle that's just affordable right but still you can improve that a little bit there chevrolet a little bit there uh one feature my family when i took them out for a test drive commented on is just how good that rear sp rear seat space really is so that's impressive and overall drive yeah it's just comfortable smooth the engine lacks you know with that 1.5 like take a listen i maybe if you can hear this it's, you know it takes its time but it's 170 horsepower right and again a vehicle that's just well priced. But what I like to do in all my videos is recommend a test drive because test drives are complimentary. So make sure you look down in the description. I provide so much information. I make your buying experience easier for me. For you, not me, you. <laughs> but guys, I'm Juliana, your automotive woman. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out to Tuesday or Future Car Friday. Thanks for watching, guys.